Hey everyone. The sky is absolutely beautiful today. Look at that. That's why I had to start recording a little bit. It's very pretty. So today is the 22nd of September 2023. I've been on the road now for about six hours heading down to Pennsylvania tonight, maybe spend the night at a Walmart, then we get on the road first thing in the morning, go down to southern Pennsylvania, maybe into Delaware, because that's where there's supposed to be a lot of rain from the tropical storm, so we'll drive around there for a while and see if we can help out with any street floods. Now, we haven't made street flood videos in quite a while because Massachusetts was the only state I knew of that had that problem be widespread and we embarrassed them a little bit too much so they actually started doing their jobs of keeping the roads clear so it eventually became not feasible anymore going down there for every storm since we never even found them anymore. So today we're going to a place that's supposed to have a good amount of rain. On the coast of Delaware, they're supposed to get maybe three to four inches of rain. But the radar shows it's just swirling. It's just going to be pouring rain all day. So we'll go down there and see what happens. If nothing happens, I'll take my time, maybe spend half a week making my way back up north. Do some exploring. I got nothing planned. We'll just see what we may happen upon. That's how I've done most of my videos for years. There's not many things we actually set out on to actually find. Just slowly drive around random spots. And that's how we would find a lot of things. So that's what we're doing today. Making our way down. This tropical storm was supposed to make its way, or the remains of it were supposed to make its way all the way up to where I live. Just yesterday it was showing the weekend being a washout. Now it's showing mostly sunny because it decided to turn where it's just grazing Massachusetts and then going back into the ocean and showing. So Massachusetts is supposed to get maybe two inches from it, but we're going down more where the target's supposed to be. This is not the biggest storm either. We probably would have had better luck going down for the last tropical storm a couple weeks ago. But never attempted doing this, like driving so far to a storm, but give it a shot. If it works out, maybe we'll do it again. Otherwise, we'll have to wait until one that's a lot bigger. There's supposed to be a lot of rain involved in it, but not so much wind. So the coastal flooding is only supposed to be a couple feet. Nothing huge at this point they're expecting. They are expecting a lot of rain, so we'll see if we can find anything over the next day or so. Good morning everyone. It's now 8 in the morning. I've probably got 7 hours of sleep. Last night I arrived at about 10 o'clock to a New Jersey Walmart, and that place there, for some reason, they close very early in New Jersey, all those stores. New Jersey, I've always known to be a place to stay away from, and last night just proved that again. So, that Walmart, you're not, you're not allowed to sleep at most of New Jersey's Walmart, so I had to travel a few hours. You know, I got here, this is a Pennsylvania Walmart. We arrived here at about 12.30 in the morning. So I'm starting up. It's raining pretty hard, so we're just gonna pull closer to the building use the bathroom, get breakfast. Once I get something to eat in here, we'll spend the rest of the day traveling down through Delaware. It looks like there's a gigantic ocean bridge we'll be going across, which might be pretty cool. Then we'll go into North Carolina, and by then, the storm will be done, and we'll start slowly backtracking north over a couple days. So I just got a little bit of breakfast. I'll munch on this as we start driving now. I really woke up just going into the store. I, I always feel really tired when I get up. But I, I, I know I got a good night's sleep. We got at least seven hours. It was comfortable. 
Time to get back on the road. I plotted a spot in North Carolina that'll get us, it's like an eight hour drive from here in Pennsylvania. And I plotted it so it'll take me right by the coast where the rain's supposed to be heaviest. It's not supposed to be a super big storm, but there is supposed to be some road flooding, maybe. All right, everybody, we've been on the road for almost an hour, heading south. And the rain is starting to pick up. Not much wind yet. I don't know if there will be a lot of wind. Maybe when we get near the coast, there'll be some. We'll do another update when anything changes. Look at all those cool yard ornaments over in that person's yard moving like crazy. It looks like the wind is starting to pick up now. Now we're finally starting to get windy. And this is how the street floods would start. All the leaves and things blowing out of yards, out of trees. Then the rain is going to help pull it over into the storm drains, clogging it up. Wind is finally picking up. Alright, we are still in Pennsylvania. It's only been another 20 minutes, but the rain has sure picked up. We're not using any highways today. We're just staying on the main roads. Not much wind, but the rain sure is picking up. It's now about 9.20. Alright everyone, at this point, look at all the leaves in the middle of the road. You see how many leaves are now getting knocked out of trees? Eventually with the rain, that's going to start accumulating over the drain grates. Alright, we're just turning around for a moment because I just found a drain that is actually clogged and it's starting to cause a small build up above it. Yeah, I've been living in here for like two days now, so if you can hear all that junk rolling around on the floor, that's my trash can, the passenger seat floor. It accumulates with bottles and things and we usually dump them out when we get to some trash cans. All right, I just quickly put my rain gear on so I can be seen very well. We'll put the strobe light on the front of the vehicle once we get it won't take long. It's not a huge flood by any means, but it will become one. It's just going to get deeper. I do see one storm drain that's clogged. The road's covered in leaves. It's raining pretty good. Not as raining as much as it was, but it's going a lot better than when we woke up. That drain there's clogged on the hill right there. Here's where it is. Not the best spot to be. But at least we got some good parking. It looks like this is starting to become a little flood. Let's get out for just a moment. Got the rake right here. Not the best spot to be getting out of the car right there. There's gotta be a storm drain here, huh? Maybe it's just a low spot. It might just be a low spot actually. It might, nope. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're better off I think just using our feet. There we go, look at that. Oh, there's a lot on that one, look at it. It's mostly dirt, look how it just nicely goes right through. So there was one, but the road is also misshapened and stuff. That'll clog back up though. We see all the debris coming over here in the storm surge. So we were able to get rid of a good amount of it. 
We'll keep on looking for more. Now you see here, there's still a few inches of water. This isn't gonna go away. The road's just low. Yeah, there's not another drain here that I'm seeing. Nope, not seeing another drain. We just got a low spot there. So let's get back in the vehicle. Go look for some more. There's still a good amount of water sitting there, but yeah, there was a drain and it was completely plugged. You see the drain right here along this hill? That's almost completely plugged by debris. But the thing is, what I just unclogged, that's not from this storm. It's probably not even from this year. It's not being taken care of. Now you see there's a lot of leaves all over the road. Good downpour is going to make every single leaf here in the road go collect at the drains. It'll plug it pretty fast if we get a good downpour. That drain there is half plugged at the bottom of that hill. That's where a flood would occur. And that's what we're focusing on. The drains at the bottom of hills is where the floods will occur. Especially if it's at the bottom of a hill where it doesn't have anywhere to get off to the side. A lot of leaves right here around this corner. Now we're back on route. but I don't know if there's a drain here or not. There's gotta be, it's so deep. But where to park to do it? Really big puddle right here. In this whole lane. I'm looking for a drain slot, I'm not seeing one. guess it can't hurt to look. I'm not even going to bring the rake because usually these, it's just better to do it with your feet. Hopefully we don't get splashed too much while out here. Just walking along the edge, dragging my feet. That's how we'll find it if it does exist. I'm now thinking it does not exist. It might not be in here. At least traffic's being nice and slowing down. No, there's not a drain there. There's one over there in that low spot. But they did not put one here. Here's a pretty cool bridge. It's only eight feet tall. Good thing we don't have the CB antenna today. We just entered the state of Delaware a minute ago. For now, there's a little bit of wind, but the rain has just about stopped. It's just sprinkling now. It looks like in a couple hours, we're gonna have another big red wave on the radar. So we'll have to wait until then. By then, we should be down by the ocean, pretty close within a few hours. You can see the wind on the trees. It's going pretty good, but no rain at the moment. so beautiful and dark underneath all these trees.
getting so high up. A lot of boats must come through here. We're right next to the ocean now. We also just passed a sign saying, tune to a certain radio station if you hear a siren. And it had the radiation symbol on it. So I'm sure there's some nuclear power plant nearby. I don't know if we'll see it or not. It's getting kind of foggy here as we approach the storm. I think I see it. See the giant cooling tower over there to the left of the road behind all that fog. See a whole ton of steam coming out of it. Yep, I definitely see it. Way over there. Down inside all these swamps, there's a couple houses. started raining pretty heavy again. It's now about 12.45 in the afternoon. I'm gonna have to stop and get some gas. Maybe the storm will pick up more. I'm not sure, not much is happening so far. Time to get back on the road. Just filled up almost all the way. This gas station has a limit of how much you can pump and it wasn't worth doing a separate transaction because it let me pump $125, but it looks like I'm just about full anyways. When I was standing there, the rain was getting driven by the wind so much I actually got wet under there, but now it basically stopped again. And this place has one of the most disgusting bathrooms. There's feces all over the walls in there. All right, it is now 1.15 in the afternoon and we just entered the state of Maryland. So we're on like a big peninsula now for the next couple hours before we cross over. There's going to be a really big bridge, but this storm is seems to be underperforming from what they said. Every time we go out, it seems to be that way, but if I stayed home, it would have been a lot worse. That's how it usually is. Around here, I see a lot of flooded drainage ditches. It is now 1.30 exactly in Maryland and the rain has picked up a whole ton right now. It's a little bit windy, but it has got really rainy and it looks like we're gonna be in the heavy rain for a while as we continue down south. even in the past minute.
5.55 in the afternoon. Very windy too. have a drain in it. The water's clear enough it looks like to look around. was a little murky. I could see the lines underneath all that. So we'll just drive along the edge. There's no cars parked there. I won't be able to feel it underneath there with the wheel. Like just a couple more miles we'll be going across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel. Nope, 17 miles it says. So that'll be pretty interesting when we get there. It doesn't seem like there's much more storm happening, so maybe I'll stay out for like a week or so and try to find some stuff. This is how I actually find most of my locations. It just takes a lot of time on the road to find them the kind of things I'm looking for, old dilapidated places and floods, it just takes a lot of time on the road, but if we're anywhere below North Carolina, you got to be kind of careful, there's going to be a lot of venomous things that I'm not used to, and alligators, so down there, if it's anything big enough where an alligator can hide, we're not going to go near that, but I also think that big high boots would help with I think it would definitely help with some venomous snakes. I'm sure they can bite through it, but I'm sure it would help to an extent if I have to walk through any weird places. But we should be going through a cool tunnel soon. I wonder how much of that is a tunnel. Can't really see it very well from the satellite images. Gasoline's a lot cheaper down here than I'm used to, and it should get cheaper as we go into the south, closer to the oil refineries. rack on that van's pretty cool. There's so much room up on that. Right there to the left. I thought about getting a van a while back, but it seems like all the affordable ones are extremely rusted out or just rear-wheel drive. 
also down here I'm noticing it. I'm averaging like 23 mpg because it's, everything's flat. There's no hills down here. I usually average like 18 where I live. Better fuel consumption down here. Cheaper gas. really cool. 
said Delaware and New Jersey, compared to my police, have a lot of police that are always on the side of the road.
buildings, so just enough for big, giant ships to go through. You can see to the left, look at that. Look, I think it, it's probably even going to hit us, these waves. Yeah, it's right up in here into the road. Are we going to get struck? No. That's why the walls are all wet from the big waves. Uh, we got rained down a little bit from the wave. This is cool. Such a clean looking tunnel. Yeah, and those lights in there immediately made the windshield look dirty. I like how it's getting dimmer and dimmer as we go. And it'll brighten back up to adjust our eyes. I think this is the first tunnel I've been in in my life that wasn't through a mountain.
ceramic tiles are on the walls. And the times I've been through any mountain tunnels that are ceramic tile, the tiles were all smashed and shattered from the hard winters. But I guess here right next to the ocean it doesn't get extremely cold like that. I don't see much damage from the ore. It's just very sealed. So it's not dripping water.